Hey guys, and welcome to another Factorio Workshop video. As always, I'm here with Mad Zuri. Greetings. And, uh, yeah, we have a few belt balancers to go over here. Or input balancers, rather. Uh, I'll kind of let Zuri just take over. These are submitted by Code Monkey. Uh, we have a 1, 2, and 4 belt balancer. There are some more, and I'll link uh, a link in the description to an image album that shows some more of these, but we felt that just building these would be sufficient to demonstrate uh, the point. Yeah, I see these literally everywhere when I go play on servers. They're very, very popular in one form or the other. And the entire purpose is to evenly balance the lane draw input side to the output side. So that all lanes hit all the lanes equally for all belts including, you know, two to four, they get extra convoluted as you go. Right, so you can see, uh, uh, hopefully you can see it on the video, uh, but you can see that even though this is only drawing from one side, it's pulling equally from both sides of this belt. Same with this, it's pulling equally from both these, and then this one pulls equally from all four belts, um, but you can see how convoluted it gets, and that's just for a four belt version. Yeah, so these do, if you if they're good designs like these, these are for what they do. These are good designs, but I will make the claim that you should never actually need these in your factory, and I just refer to these as lag machines. Yeah, <laughs> the uh, definitely not needed. And and if you build like like they said, if you build your factory right, or I, I don't want to say right. I mean, if you build your factory efficiently using, you know, quote-unquote good setups, uh, like a lot of the ones we've demonstrated in these videos, uh, you shouldn't ever need to do this. Like, you should have your smelting balanced just inherently by the way it's built, for example, and never have to use something like this. But if you do, it's a good design. Yeah, I call these like uh, the band-aids or a crutch. <laughs> yeah. Maybe the bacon and cheese of Factorio. <laughs> you just slap it on everything, it fixes it. Yeah, perfect. Pretty much. Uh, and then we have... Go ahead. Yeah, so this is actually something that I found very useful in many of my mega base builds. Right, so this uh, is kind of similar, but it's much simpler. And uh, you said that this is... Uh, this particular example is for, like, red circuit builds that you just want to max out. Yeah, so if you could build a red circuit build that eats these belts and two fully compressed belts of copper cabling, that'll output one full blue belt of red circuits. Nice. That's massive. That's huge. And quite impressive. Yeah, that is a huge amount of red circuits, and... Uh, this this works really, really nicely. I mean, Zuri showed me before the video, but I mean, you can just show again. This pulls evenly from both sides, and as you can see, he just cut off one. So if one gets stopped or whatever, um, it still pulls evenly from both lanes. And then even if you cut one off, um, there's there's no contamination or anything, which is perfect. And it's just, uh, I mean, it's really quite simple. Just splitters into undergrounds here, uh, and, and that sends it down both lanes equally. Really, really cool, simple little design. Yeah, this is something that is incredibly useful, but it still is kind of like a lag machine. Yeah, but not as bad as other things. I mean, you can compare the size of the actual like machine part, if you if you were to imagine these belts being gone, the actual part that does the balancing and stuff is way smaller than most of these others. I mean, it's, it's still only two lines, but still. And uh, I, I think I think that'll do it. We, we just wanted to demonstrate these, and I know people people have been requesting like a specific video on belt balancers, but. I feel like we've kind of just covered that throughout all the videos. I mean, there's not much to say about them aside from what we said as to why you shouldn't use them. Yeah. 
yeah, like uh, inherently balancing your your builds is a lot better than slapping a band-aid like these on it. Yeah, and I know a lot of people might do this just for like visual OCD reasons, which I mean, if that's your thing, I mean, it's your factory, go for it. But in terms of performance and all that, uh, it is not going to really help. And the funny thing, just one last thing would be, if you're doing this for visual reasons, um, it's kind of contradicting itself because this itself is not visually pleasing at all. Yeah, if, if you like these, then go for it. I think they're ugly, and I would never build these myself. Yeah, me neither. I mean, I don't think they look great. But anyway, there you go, guys. There's a build. The uh, link to the image album thing for them. Links to, or uh, yeah, links to the blueprint strings for these particular three. And I'll also blueprint uh, the Zuri setup over here, just in case people, you know, easily want to use it without having to pause the video and look at it or whatever. Uh, so there you go. I believe that'll do it. Unless Zuri has anything else to add. No, that's everything. All right. As always, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, any feedback of any kind, leave down in the comments. Any more submissions, leave down there, and we will catch you next time. Later.